Greetings. This is Jerry Revere of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. Today we're going to be talking about system platform backup and why it's important to you. The title of this video is mostly described by the first bullet point in this slide. However, to expand on that point, backups can be used in some cases for migrations to other systems, and translations can be restored to bring a system back to a stable, known good state. For this video, we'll only focus on backing up system platform. Backing up other products will be covered in other Avaya Mentor videos. We will look at how to use system platform backup successfully. Before we go on, there is two methods that are not considered as secure as others. The first method choice is called local, which backs up to the local hard drive. If the drive becomes unaccessible using that backup, it would be out of the question. The second method is email, and most email systems cannot handle the large backup file sizes being dealt with here. The system platform backup utilizes each of the template applications standard backup mechanism as if they were standalone applications. Generally, all data required to return the template applications and the system platform to its current state at the time of backup is gathered. This includes applied patches, translations, and database information. In the following sections of this video, we will focus on the off-server backup method of system platform. You can see that I have now logged into the System Platform web console and opened the Server Management Backup link. This screen has three tabs. Most of what we'll look at is in the Backup tab and its functions. The other two tabs provide Previous Backup Status using the Backup History tab and the Archive Manager to manage previous backups and delete them from the Archive Backup directory. The screen in the view shown allows for scheduling backups to occur at some desired interval which could be daily, weekly, or monthly. I have now clicked the drop down to expose the three choices to perform the backup. Local is a method that will perform the backup to the server's local hard disk. The email choice would generally not be an acceptable option due to the size of the backup can be easily over a gigabyte of data. As noted earlier, most email systems will not support that amount of data. The appropriate fields open to permit the email address and mail server to be entered when the choice is selected. The SFTP method provides the backup to be made and transported over the IP network. As shown, the fields have opened to allow for authentication, the SFTP server address, and the specific backup folder the backup will be stored in. The option called Archives Kept on Server defaults to 10. I will talk about that again in a few minutes. To demonstrate the backup, I am selecting the radio button labeled Backup Now, which allows for an on-demand backup. This method has the same three choices as described before. For this demo, we will use the SFTP option. I am entering the IP address of the server, the destination folder where that backup will be stored on that server, and the authentication credentials. I have pushed the Backup Now button. This backup does take a significant amount of time as the system platform backup process calls various plugins from each virtual machine in the template and within system platform itself, which creates a large TARGZ file that will be SFTP'd to the remote server. I will continue when the backup completes. The backup has completed after several minutes. So we can now look at the backup status using the backup history tab. You can see that the backup status was successful. 
The Archive Manager tab shows that the file is also kept in the directory slash VSP data slash backup slash archive. The space that remains is listed at the top of the window. When looking at the earlier screen, the option Archives Kept on Server, I noted I would talk about it later. The partition that archives are stored in has about 20 gigabyte of storage. The number of archives saved should be managed so that the partition never fills up. Using the Archive Manager to delete the old backups and setting a number of archive sets kept is up to the administrator to manage and to control. Finally, everything I have demonstrated using the Backup Now function performs exactly the same function as the Schedule Backup except the scheduling function ensures that the backup is accomplished on a regular schedule. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.